boilers why do we require it how do we use it let's try to understand what are boilers boiler is a machinery which produces steam for us why do we require steam we require steam for heating purposes heating of the heaters different kinds of heaters which we have we have fuel heaters low boil heaters we have something called as calorifier which we discussed in the earlier video calorifier is helping us to heat up the water which we have uh, which we require for hot water bath we require steam for uh, heating the accommodation sometimes whenever if you're going in cold countries countries like canada where the temperature is very very less you know there we cannot use the ac we have to heat up the environment we have to heat up the accommodation and that is done with the help of our boiler so boiler is the one which is producing steam now it depends what kind of ship we have the boiler if we have uh, if we have the boiler in the dry fleet like you know the bulk carrier the containers there we don't require very high pressure steam we might uh, do with six bar seven bar steam so there we don't have require very very high pressure steam but in case if we have boilers on tankers you know there we require very high capacity steam that is high pressure steam of 16 bar 12 bar now why we require the high capacity steam or high pressure steam what we say is because of uh, uh, turbines which we have now turbines are basically steam turbines which are driven with the help of steam steam is used to drive the turbine on the other side of the turbine we have pumps so the uh, turbine is used to rotate and pump some kind of fluid most of the time it is cargo pumps which are there so for that reason we could have pumps which are required and that's the reason when the requirement is such huge in that we require very high capacity boilers and also high pressure boilers okay now how do we generate steam on board in fact it's very simple we use fresh water which is there if you remember in fresh water generator we discussed that we produce water on board and we produce very high quality water that is below 5 ppm below 15 ppm and below 5 ppm is considered as one of the best water now that water we have we send it to your boilers in boiler what we do we have burners which will heat up the water which will produce it into steam that steam is sent to the pipeline it goes to the heaters it goes to the uh, different places you know and it will heat up and it will come back once it comes back it is passing through another small dump condenser and then it is entering the place something called as a hot well where we also add some new fresh water or the written water collects and from where we have the uh, feed water pumps which will pump from the cascade tank or the hot well to the boiler so this is how the cycle gets complete now we also have something called as exhaust gas boilers exhaust gas boilers are basically a heat exchanger which is utilizing the heat from the exhaust gases only what we are doing is we are passing the water from boiler to exhaust gas boiler with the help of EGB pump so these pumps continuously keep rotating the water the water is going to EGB where heat is provided by the exhaust gases the exhaust gases from the main engine after they are passed up from the turbines they come to EGB and they give their heat to the water this water when it goes to the boiler uh, it then expands into steam and we have steam production so normally when the ship is running when the uh, ship is moving from one port to another that, that is the time when the main engine is running so that is the time we don't need to burn any kind of fuel to produce steam unless and until the requirement is high for normal loads for normal requirement we have the egp which can produce enough steam okay suppose if we have excess steam which has been produced then we have something called as a dump condenser so excess steam will be dumped to your condenser and then sent back to your hot well now even though we were using fresh water there are some requirements which we have to do is uh, to maintain good quality of pipelines and good quality of uh, boiler and uh, to make sure that everything is fine we have to we have to dose chemicals these chemicals are basically keeping everything in check and um, chemicals are dosing is done either in the cascade tank in the, or in the hot well which we call or we have a separate dosing pump which will keep dosing inside the feed water line so this is how we generate steam we generate uh, heat from the steam and we utilize that heat to heat up all the requirements which are there right from your accommodation to your uh, fuel oil heaters to your lube oil heaters so that is the main role of boiler okay and we have also understood that in uh, in on your tankers we require the steam for steam turbines okay we also use it for eductors okay there are different things which we can use it for we can also use it for cleaning purposes so steam is very very important on ship okay the fuel oil which is there the heavy oil which is there that is very very thick oil and we require to heat it up 
we have to heat it up to 120 degrees 130 degrees celsius and to heat it up we use steam so it's very very important part of the ship in fact even for purifiers to purify you have to heat up the oil when you heat up the oil when you raise it to a certain temperature then the def uh, difference between the uh, water and oil is high so that's the reason we also need to heat up in purifier and there also we require steam hope you have understood all the things we have explained i might have not covered up everything because this is just an introduction video for boilers and uh, the idea of this video is to reach to guys who are preparing for gme entry exam or some kind of marine engineering exam and who want to get placement so please if you have not watched the earlier videos go to my youtube channel see the playlist and see all the videos try to go and see it on youtube so that you can get uh, more details out of it thank you follow and like till next time best of luck